الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد as a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters about the qima to dunya the the weight of the dunya to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how the mu'min should strive earnestly to be the best they can be in this dunya by beautifying his or her iman and this is the best way in combating one's desires and doubtful issues is by strengthening iman iman of kitab wa sunnah iman billah wa malaikati wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wal yawm al-akhir wa qadr khayrihi wa shar so it's iman in the pillars of iman your faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the angels and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's books and messengers and the day of judgment and the divine decree the good of it and the bad of it all of those things are a part of Iman those are the pillars of Iman and If we contemplate and reflect on this hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Hadith in Sahih Muslim in which the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Inna dunya halawata khadira Verily the dunya is like a beautiful garden. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala establishes in the earth in the dunya halawata khadira wa inna Allah subhanahu mustakhlafukum fi fal yandhir kayfa ta'malun fattaqu dunya wa taqu nisa fa inna awla fitna bani israel kanat fi nisa so the Prophet ﷺ said that the dunya is like a beautiful garden. And look how beautiful this is from the, from the nature point of view, the greenery. How beautiful is this? SubhanAllah. In the dunya halawatul khadira. Verily this dunya, this life, is like a beautiful garden and Allah the Almighty establishes you in it and he looks to see what you will do so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the khilafah he gives us the status in which we are the successors and protectors of this dunya and he looks to see what we'll do. And then the Prophet said, dunya wa nisa. Fear the dunya. And fear the women. fitna bani Israel. For verily the first fitna or trial that befell 
the children of Israel. Kanat bin Nisa. It was from the women. This hadith does not should not be understood as a way of belittling women or taking from the status of women. But rather what we understand from this hadith is that for men one of the greatest difficulties and challenges that a man faces is from women. This can be in a man having a spouse or a partner who is unrighteous and difficult and always challenging and attacking his beliefs or challenging him in his Iman. And this can be also the fact that the beauty of the women being a test for most men. Most men find it very difficult the beauty of the women. And with women exposing themselves in every society, even in the Muslim society, you'll find women beautifying themselves in perfume and and their movements and everything can be a distraction for some and can be a brutal war for others in which every movement of a woman can tear a man down if he is not lowering his gaze and if he is not trying to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the power that Allah has given the women. This is one of the strongest powers that a woman possesses over men. And I said a woman possesses over men because one woman can cause many men to fall. Just because of her enticing the man or the men. And this was from the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this was the first trial. This was the first trial for them. So the first trial for them was not wealth because wealth is another thing which is a fitna and a distraction and can make someone lose their religion and their faith for men and women. But rather the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, in the awal of fitna bani Israel, the first trial of the children of Israel was women. Was the fitna of women. They were tested by women. And so Wahhabatifillah. We need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us strengthen ourselves and put good things into our minds and our hearts in order to protect us from this fitna which will last until the day of judgment and will always be present in any society, even the society where the women's cover, they will find a way, there are women who will find a way to cause fitna by uncovering, wearing see-through abayas, wearing tight abayas, opening their abaya, every kind of fitna you could imagine, wearing perfumes, makeup, all these things which entice the men. It's the fitra of the man. So may Allah protect us, and may Allah forgive us, and may Allah guide us, and guide the Muslim women, and protect us from every kind of evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.